It's the Simon Brodkin Show. Build a location upstairs in his house. Coming up. You know how you always say you love me? Mm -hmm. I need you to break into number 15 while they're asleep. And this, my seeded bloomer. I assume it's with you because it's not with me. And this. Got some Pfizer, AstraZeneca. It's 90% effective, mate. But first. Hey, guys. How you doing? Crazy excited about the day. It's going to be so cool. I think I can smell brekkie being cooked by my gorgeous wife. I feel so blessed. You have nothing to do today. Your wife downstairs. Your wife downstairs. I wish someone lived here. You forgot the pillow. Stupid pillow! I'm getting 35 quid for this! Good morning, guys. I think I might have just had the greatest night's sleep of my life. Thanks to my dream pillow, I never sleep without it. Thanks to everyone at the Dream Factory for making me wake up fresh, happy, excited. God, things are so good. Yeah, I can smell breakfast downstairs for my beautiful wife. I'm coming, babe. I love that woman. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that by the time you watch this, Boris Johnson may well have been let out of quarantine and will be back doing fuck all out of his house. Somebody I was in contact with a few days ago has developed uh, COVID. They pinged me. Who talks like that? They pinged me, pinged me. Honey, you just ping me, I'll pong you later. If he was a character in a sitcom, you would think too much. We are playing cricket against the virus and we have got this bugger LBW and I'm fighting. Fit! Carrie, what do you want the Prime Minister to do next? The country is going down in flames and he's telling us how wonderful everything is. I wonder what it would take for him to not say everything was amazing. Fantastic news from Britain. Sea levels are rising faster than ever. We are underwater in our brilliant aquatic playground. <laughs> off within myself he relaxed the lockdown rules for Christmas and now I'm gonna have to see my family the government announced their new festive period coronavirus policy say hi to your nan at Christmas then bye to her in Jan here is a genuine interview Boris did but with me lip-syncing his exact words what do you do to relax what do you do to switch off uh, I, I, well, I like to paint um, oh I make things I like to... What do you make? I make... I have a thing where I make models of... I mean, when I was in like, well, Mayor of London, we build a beautiful... I make buses. You make models of buses? I make models of buses. See, they're going to be do, in Downing Street. So, so what I do... No, what I do make models of buses, but what I, I make is... I get, I get old, um, I don't know, wooden crates. Yeah. Right? And then I paint them. And they, and they have two, two, I suppose it's a wine, it's a box that's been used to contain two, two wine bottles, right? Right. And it will have a, 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 a dividing thing. Yeah. And I turn it into a bus and I, so I, put, I put passengers. You really want to know this? I can't wait for this vaccine to come out so I can safely attend an anti-vax rally. There is going to be so much demand for this thing. Yo, pills, weed, got some Pfizer. AstraZeneca, it's 90% effective, mate. Take two Oxfords, you're gonna be hugging everyone. But Matt Hancock has promised us all. We will be ready to start the vaccination next month. I've known Matt since Oxford. And at the moment, a lot of people are saying stuff like that brother Harold Shipman was in charge of the NHS, and that a three-year-old would have a better grasp of the situation, and that train station tannoy announcements have more charisma, and that the guy looks like a supply teacher in an inner city school who's realised he's massively out of his depth and wants to call his mum. Well, have a drink with Matt and you'll realise that, yeah, they've pretty much got it bang on. Hi, doctor. I'm here for the COVID vaccine. Vaccine? The one the government's been talking about? <laughs> You believe what the government tells you. It's been on the news. Yeah, we got about 50 shots, but they went to Boris and his kids. They said there were 3 million doses. Unfortunately, Pretty Patel was doing the numbers. Right, let's see what I got for you. Oh, 
would you like a flu jab from 2018? No. I have smallpox. Would you like a sticker? Sure. There is a five month waiting list. Little man. Little man. What's the time, Daddy? Time doesn't really matter anymore, mate. It's 4.13 a.m. Now, little man, you know how there's been a few changes around the house recently? Like mum leaving? Yeah. And you saying you're doing it at the wall a bit more than usual? Exactly. Now, Daddy has something called a mortgage, which means Daddy has to pay hundreds of pounds every month. Now, you know how you always say you love me? Mm-hmm. I need you to break into number 15 while they're asleep. I don't know, Dad. Well, your sister could really do with some help. As a father, I know just how important some people think being a father is. But it's also really time consuming. So for all those busy dads out there, here's five games you can play with your kid while still being on your phone. Ready? <laughs> Be in the bramble somewhere, mate. Again, yeah? Yes, okay. 260, 261, 262. And that's the anaesthetic in. You are asleep. He's still going. Now, before I go, I'd like you to please spare a thought for the people who are suffering the most at the moment, the residents of Notting Hill. My seeded bloomer. I assume it's with you because it's not with me. No, you sent an unseeded bloomer, an entirely different bloomer. You may as well have sent a baguette I'm not an unreasonable man, but we're hoping to have brunch in an hour, and as things stand, we're utterly seedless. And I'm sure you're well aware the brunch window is rapidly closing. Now, you don't need to tell me things are difficult at the moment. Our gardener's not been since March. See you next step. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Spread the word about the show. We have got to get that R rate above one. They're out every two weeks. Stay alive till then. In fact, it's probably best you subscribe now. Right now, just in case. Leave your likes, leave your comments. Take good care of yourselves. Cheers. Bye. Later. Bye.